What's going on everybody? It's Josh. Today is Father's Day as I'm recording this. I don't know when this is going up, but happy Father's Day if you are a father out there. Um, I don't know what this video was going to be, so I just wanted to make a video about my Mythic Legion haul that I've had. Uh, my birthday was this past week um, and I bought some stuff for myself. I had a few generous friends send me some things. Um, and then I also had a friend help me out at a toy show he was at um, to pick up a Grail type uh, Mythic Legion figure. So I'm going to go through that stuff real quick. And then as you can see behind me, um, I finally have a display up. I'm not sure if I've even shown this yet. I forget what the last video I made was. But anyway, so to start off, I want a big I want to give a big shout out to uh, Art. Gutierrez, I believe that's how you pronounce your last name, Art G on uh, YouTube. He was at um, ToyCon, New Jersey, and he picked me up uh, two legions. This is uh, Sir Gerard. I do not know how to pronounce his name, but it's a, it's a, an homage or some sort of figure for Jeremy Gerard. Uh, he works with the Four Horsemen or whatever. So. This was really cool. I just like them because of the Templar Knight aspect. Um, I miss my Templars and I miss my Orcs for... Uh, does this work? That might work a little better. There you go. So this was one. Uh, I got everything at retail. So once again, thank you, Art, for helping me out and Cincy out in the long run. Now this, this bad boy, I originally had this uh, set, this two pack, um, when the wave came out, but when I pre-ordered it, I was collecting legions. By the time I got it, I was already out. So I didn't even get a chance to really look at this because I sold it the same day. And this is the Aerithier and Atheon, Atheon 2-pack. The glare is pretty horrible, but you guys can kind of see what it's like. This 2-pack is uh, pretty sought after because I think this is like a uh, special packaging. Um, I'm not sure. I, maybe this was only for like the, the pre-order, like when you pre-ordered the, the Wave. You could buy it as a two pack now they're sold separately um but i got this for a hundred dollars and just for kind of to let you guys know how good of a deal this is people are selling just the figure for like 90 and then the horse is like a hundred and something so really good deal on that so thank you art and then my very good friend chris james he was very generous and he sent me the uh war of ethereal blade uh, this is the Forge Edition, I believe, so it comes with a special, it's like the Red Soldier helmet uh, head sculpt. I started, when I started with Mythics again, and I kind of just wanted to relearn about everything between Chris and um, Carvar. They have been extremely helpful and generous with everything. Um, they helped me paint my figures, kind of helped me lay the lane with that. And then uh, Chris showed me this when he got it in from his pile of loot. I had no idea these were really even a thing. Um, and I did buy one off of Big Bad because they came back into stock, um, but he was still generous enough to send me one. Obviously, if you guys are familiar with Mythics and everything, having more than one of the same figure isn't bad because, I mean, he has five total head sculpts and he can have two different bodies technically with this. So, very cool. Um, I will show you. I opened mine up the same day because I got a, a companion figure with it, which is, I'm, which is what I'm about to show you. And this is from D20 Studios. This is a, uh, it's a wolf. I'm not very familiar with this. I'm going to be quite honest with you. The only reason why I bought this is because this and the other accessory that I will show you, um, they were on 40% off of, they were 40% off on a one day deal at Big Bad. Um, this thing is absolutely incredible. I mean, if you can see how big the box is, it's crazy. So just to give you a perspective, that's where the wolf sits. I mean, here's my hand. Yeah, that's a it's a big old figure and it comes with this battle damage head sculpt which i obviously do not have on but pretty awesome now there's a, a quite a few different versions of this this is the basic it doesn't have any armor or anything um but it's still pretty cool to be honest with you i'm, I'm pretty hyped about it because it kind of gives a little diversity with the shelf um, because it scales with their horses pretty well it's actually a little bigger than the uh, four horsemen mounts but that's okay um, and then last of my birthday type haul, this was a very generous gift from a 
friend. I definitely will say a friend, but he is from my YouTube community. I, I don't believe that he has any social media, so I strictly met him just through YouTube comments and then um, on my Twitch streams. But Tyler, big money collector, he uh, he texted me. He was like, hey, man, I want to send you something now that you're kind of into Mythics again. This just doesn't fit my collection. He sent me the freaking Headless Horseman. So... I did not think that I would want this figure. I, he was even on a live stream with me, or he was in the chat of the live stream that I was on saying that I'm not gonna collect these just because they're like the figure obscuras type of figure. I think that's the, the proper name. Um, but I've always liked the horse just because, I mean, it has red eyes. It's, it's pretty cool. I don't know if I can get it out quickly. Let me see, I haven't even opened this thing yet, obviously. So let's take a look. See how easy. Oh yeah, it's not too hateful. But there we go. So there's the horse, and then the headless horseman. But I mean, that horse in general, man, it can be used for you know other figures, obviously. So I'm pretty stoked for that. And then he comes with his uh, little soft goods cape and his sword. So. That's pretty awesome. So once again, thank you um, to Chris, to Art, to Tyler. Um, I appreciate you guys. So I think, I think I'm going to show you guys everything I have on display. I've opened up a few things um, on like streams and stuff. So you guys have seen a little bit of that if you tuned in. But here is the D20 Studios Wolf. And then I got this little banner thing, this skull type of banner it comes with the chain and then I have him next to Dubon and his horse um, but I mean look how well that scales it's definitely gives like some Lord of the Rings type of vibes or whatever and then here's a couple figures that I have opened up while I've been on stream so this is the I don't think I've showed this this is the skeleton that I did so here is the original it's the Legion builder and then this is what I kind of painted I don't really like to call them custom because I feel like I didn't do much besides just put some paint on them, but it took a while. I mean, to add all the, the weathering and the, the rust stuff, and then I, I pulled everything apart and I even did some um, comparison on the bones. I don't know if you guys can tell the bone color is a little different as well. So, but it was pretty cool. It was a fun little first thing. I definitely enjoyed it, so I just have to kind of find more figures to be able to do this too. And, keep practicing but I like them definitely adds a little bit of uniqueness to the shelf um, and then I got Artemis uh, so oh my gosh what's her name Silverhorn nope not Silverhorn I forget her name but I know her name's Artemis and then Lord Bardrick Bardrick I think I opened both of those up on a stream not too long ago and then I, I mean I have a bunch I have all these trolls to open I have this awesome two pack which I think I've shown you guys Gotta open that. I've been trying to open stuff on stream, um, but I've just been so busy the past like two weeks. I haven't really been able to do anything. Um, but this coming weekend, it's just a little reminder if you guys are in the area, Sunday the 25th, Ohio Toy and Comic Show. Um, you can read all the information, but it's at the Hilton Garden Inn in Beaver Creek. Um, early buyers start at 9, and then the general admission is from 10 to 4 p.m. So I will be there. Um, Cody and Brooklyn will be up here. So I think on their way back home, we are going to stop at that show and just kind of show Aaron some love. Um, he hasn't had this show in three years, I think. I think 2020 was it? No, I don't even think he did a show in 2020, to be honest. So it might be since like 2019 since he's had this show. So overall, it's pretty crazy, but. Anyways, I just wanted to say thank you guys. Um, I am enjoying making content again. I know it's kind of up and down. Um, so if you guys are still here, uh, I don't know, leave a comment, leave something. Tell me, uh, tell me your favorite season of the year. We'll say that. Mine, personally, is fall. I hate sweating. I like sweatpants and hoodie season. So leave your favorite season down in the comments below. We'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, so thank you. So there will be a toy hunt video um, eventually, probably next monday about a week from when this goes up um but if you guys did enjoy the video leave a like subscribe if you're new um if you like the mythic legion content too let me know i've been playing a lot of diablo i don't know how many people are playing diablo but if you want me to stream on youtube i'm normally streaming on twitch 
I don't mind streaming that on YouTube. It's pretty fun to watch. And if you like mythics, you know, fantasy, whatever. So anyways, that's it. I'm going to go throw some football with the kids. I'm going to spend the rest of the day disconnected from technology for uh, Father's Day. But I love you guys. Thank you for the support. If you like the video, like it. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. But I will see you in the next video. And as always, may the fix be with you. I got the juice like I'm super. I got the juice like I'm fish. I got the juice like I'm super. I got the juice like I'm fish. I got the juice like I'm super. Bitch, I got the juice like I'm fish. I got the juice like I'm fish. I got the juice like I'm fish up. This rollie so heavy as fuck on my wrist up. My pinky ring look like your salary. Counting this money is hard to count calories. Bitch, I've been eating better than I ever had.